What did you just call me? Say that again. What did you just call me? Assalamu alaikum. This is your brother Muhammad Arshad. And today in this video, I'm going to be talking about something quite controversial. I'm going to be talking about gender equality, especially within Muslims. Okay. So the reason why I'm talking about this is because a sister who is uh, very, very educated, mashallah, uh, someone I very much respect. Uh, and I hold in high regard, she contacted me saying that, uh, obviously she's an alima, and she contacted me and she said, look, what I've found is that there are brothers out there who are going out there and doing great work and uh, you know, helping the ummah, and they're not really qualified, they haven't really gone through a proper process of education and stuff, and they're called sheikh, okay, everyone calls them sheikh. But when it comes to females, they may be fully qualified, like proper alimas, and they don't get called sheikha, like they're just sister, okay? So she said to me, look, I was thinking that um, this new position I'm going for, should I actually uh, make this a point that when it comes to my title, it should be sheikha, right? Rather than just sister. Or is this too much? Like, is it just me thinking about, like, you know, my title and am I overthinking it? Okay. So I just wanted to give my kind of feedback and I thought rather than giving the feedback directly, I'd share it for the benefit of everyone, right? Now, the first thing I want to say, obviously, um, I'm not a qualified sheikh, right? So you don't need to call me sheikh. And uh, my opinion is not really a religious Islamic opinion specifically, but I'm just going to kind of talk about some of the things um, that I would highlight if uh, I was speaking to the sister, if I was speaking to a coaching client and things like that, what are the kind of areas that I would push you towards thinking about? Whenever something like this comes up, there's no issue with questioning it. The fact that you're asking, look, should I be called sheikha and should I not? There's no harm in asking it. The harm comes from what comes after that, right? So uh, for me personally, obviously none of us should be out there really just seeking uh, these titles and seeking this leadership. There's a massive responsibility that comes with it, right? But at the same time, I think there's added benefit. So when I first heard about this, what I was thinking is that it's about why you do it. It's about the intention, right? So for example, um, if there's a sister that is qualified, she is alima, we should call her sheikha, right? There's a number of reasons for that. Firstly, you know, there's a whole load of credibility that comes from a title, right? And why is that credibility there? It's from a trust perspective, right? We want people to understand and realize that we're qualified. It's like when you go to a doctor, right? You go to a doctor and it's doctor something. If he wasn't a doctor, you probably wouldn't seek medical advice, right? So for that reason, I think, you know, having the title can be something very, very beneficial because it gives you credibility. The second thing is that in our society, maybe we really put brothers on a pedestal when it comes to knowledge, but with sisters, we don't. If you look at Sheikh Akram Nadwi's, uh, you know, work on the female scholars, if you think about the Sahabiya of the Prophet Sallallahu like the women did amazing stuff, uh, even from a knowledge perspective, right? So I think it could be a lot of value in having that there. Why? Because I have a daughter, right? I have a daughter. And when I think about my daughter growing up, do I want her to just have male role models who are educated and have titles and, and get respect and stuff? Or do I want there to be women out there? Of course, I want there to be women that she can look up to. I want her to look up to the female scholars and to look up to the female teachers and to realize that, oh my God, look, this sister, she's amazing, mashallah, she's actually a sheikha, she's qualified, she's, uh, you know, done the alimiya thing and she's just like really amazing. And maybe I can be like that. So I think there's a really, really big added benefit outside of yourself uh, and your title, the fact is that you can be a role model for other people and you can be someone that is empowering the ummah uh, in terms of the sisters, right? Empowering the ummah, realizing that they can do stuff that brothers can do. Uh, and really that Islam doesn't limit us like that, right? Of course, there's etiquettes in the way that we do things and all of that. But generally, like there's nothing wrong with the sisters being fully educated and even more educated than the brothers, right? And so, I think with that in mind, what I would do is I would actually make it a point to speak to the organization about this, because I think if there's something that's right, if there's something that's beneficial for the Ummah, if there's something that's going to help other people, then we should make a point of, of, of talking about it. We don't need to shy away from it. Uh, of course, your own ego could be engaged with something like this because it's your title. But this is why I'm saying the first step would be to actually disengage your ego, to get your intentions right, to make sure that you're actually doing it for the right reasons, doing it for 
uh, you know, helping other people, doing it for the credibility so that your advice is taken more seriously, doing it for, uh, for the sake of Allah really, rather than for your title. Because the truth is that the benefit that you bring to people, it's only because of Allah, right? So having that title is not really going to bring the benefit. What's going to bring the benefit is having sincere intentions. But we want to use the tools. You know, if you've gone and you studied and you've done a PhD and you're a doctor or you're something like that, why shouldn't you use the title? As long as it's not, you know, getting into your head or getting into your heart where you're like kind of crazy and arrogant about it, I think it should definitely be used. So generally my advice is that if we're in a situation where brothers and sisters, uh, you know, have to use titles, I think they should. Uh, like I said, because of credibility, because of the role model thing. Uh, and I believe that as Muslims, we should really, really kind of pick ourselves up uh, in terms of the way we deal with brothers and sisters. Now, there's a natural thing where sometimes, you know, brothers will be seen as the leaders and sisters are seen as the helpers. And, you know, there's lots of things in our tradition generally um, that people confuse. But I think the main thing is that when we think about our daughters, when we think about our sisters and the people in society, we know we want role models at every stage of their life in all the different areas. So I pray Allah makes it easy for the sisters and that Allah blesses them and, of course, the brothers. Jazakallah khair for watching. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. Oh, <laughs> da